Hey guys, in this video we are going to be learning how to divide numbers in scientific notation. I like to start this lesson by reviewing the quotient rule for exponents. The quotient rule tells us that if we have any coefficients, we would divide those just like a regular fraction. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then we are going to keep the base of y, and y is considered the base because both of those y's have exponents on them. And when we keep the base, we then subtract the exponents. So 10 minus 3 would give us 7. So our quotient would be 4y to the 7th. We're going to take that same idea and apply it to dividing numbers in scientific notation. So the first step is to divide the factors. The factors would be just like the coefficients here. Factors in scientific notation are those numbers that are usually decimal values that are multiplied by the powers of 10. So we are going to divide those numbers. We keep our base of 10. Those are just like the y's in the top example. And then we subtract the exponents. And the last step is to make sure your final answer is in proper scientific notation. And we'll look through a couple of examples where we have to adjust the answer at the end. So let's take a look at number one, the first example. We're going to do 6 divided by 2.4. 2, so when you put that in your calculator, it's 6 then we division sign and then 2.4. So the numerator always goes in the calculator first. So 6 divided by 2.4 is going to give us 2.5. Keep the base of 10 and we are going to subtract 12 minus 8. So once we subtract those exponents, we're going to get 10 to the fourth. Double check your final answer. Is this factor a value between 1 and 10? Greater than 1, less than 10. That's proper scientific notation. And 2.5 is a value between 1 and 10. So our final answer is 2.5 times 10 to the fourth power. Let's look at the next example. We're going to put in our calculator 3, excuse me, 5.95 divided by 3.5. And when we put those in the calculator, we get 1.7. We are going to keep that base of 10, and we are going to subtract the exponents with their sign. So that's going to be negative 13 minus negative 8. All right, so we get 1.7 times 10 to the, let's double check our integer work here. We're going to, that minus, subtract the negative, that becomes a plus. So it's negative 13 plus 8, which gives us negative 5. Double check your factor here. Is it a value greater than 1 and less than 10? 1 1.7 is greater than 1 and less than 10. So we get 1.7 times 10 to the negative 5 as our final answer. Let's take a look at the next example. We are going to be dividing 1.2 by 4.8. So we know that 1.2 is smaller than 4.8. So we need to go ahead and be thinking. We may have to adjust our answer here. So 1.2 divided by 4.8 is... 0.25, we are going to keep our base of 10, we are going to subtract 3 minus negative 4. So some integer work we're going to have to take care of here. So we get 0.25 times 10, 3 minus negative 4 is really 3 plus 4, which is 7. Now, 0.25 is not between 1 and 10, it is less than 1. So we do have to move the decimal over to the right. When we move the decimal to the right, we have to subtract 1 from the exponent to, to make, take into account that movement of the decimal. So our decimal now becomes 2.5 times 10. 7 minus 1 is 6. So 2.5 times 10 to the 6 is our final answer. The last example, we've got 7.2 times 10 to the 10th divided by 8 times 10 to the 15th. Let's go ahead and divide 7.2 divided by 8, that is going to give us 0 0.9. We keep our base of 10, and then we subtract the exponents, 10 minus 15. So that's going to give us 0.9 times 10 to the negative 5. We are going to have to adjust our final answer because 0 0.9 is less than 1. So move the decimal to the right, and again, we are going to subtract the exponent. So we get 9 times 10 to the negative 5 sixth power keep keep watch those integer those integer rules they can get you okay so that's a nine times ten to the negative six i hope these examples were helpful for you